Hi friends, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm so excited because today I'm essentially giving you, not essentially, I'm giving you a one year review of using natural deodorant. I will leave a link to my playlist down below. Um, the deodorant I've been using for the last year is Native Deodorant. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Native. You guys know I'm very open and honest when a video is sponsored. I don't do many sponsored videos, but I have been using this product for a year. If you do not believe me, go and look at the playlist down below. I've done videos where I leave it on for 24 hours. I check in with you. I see how it wears while working out. I've done three month updates. I've done a lot of videos, six month updates. So this is my year review. And you guys know if you've seen any of those videos, I love this stuff. So. If you don't know why natural deodorant is really important, check out those videos down below. But native deodorant is paraben flea, flea, paraben flea, let me tell you about it. Let me quickly give you like all the good stuff about it. I know that it doesn't have any of the harsh chemicals that like if you go, because I for my entire life, this might be TMI, but you guys know I get TMI on my channel. I have a very, warm body temperature. Normal body temperature is 98.6. Mine, I feel like normally is 100. That's just normal for me. I sweat a lot. I work out a lot. I work out five to six days a week. So for my entire life, until I started using Native, I would use like the extra clinical strength deodorants like Secret. Um, there's one at the drugstore that's like 12 bucks called Mitchum. Like those really, really clinical strength um, antiperspirant deodorants, but if you don't know, those can be really harmful for you. Research has shown that a lot of those chemicals can actually cause cancer. Um, a lot of those chemicals can really throw off your hormones, cause hormonal imbalances. Like, it's just really not good for you, friends. Um, look it up, if you don't believe me. Look it up about the chemicals of using um, clinical strength deodorants or really a lot of the deodorants you can get in the drugstore. So I switched over natural a year ago and I love this stuff. When I wear this stuff, oh here we go, it's paraben free and aluminum free. That's the big one I wanted to say. Aluminum is what a lot of anti antiperspirants have in them and that's what causes you to stop sweating. So when it has aluminum, it stops you from sweating but the aluminum is really bad for you friends. Look it up, I won't go into too much about it but consider going natural. And if you do, consider trying native. I'll leave a link to it down below. I also have a code and I'll leave a link to the code down below so you get 10% off. Native, I believe is $12. When I first started using natural deodorants about two years ago, they used to be very expensive. They've come down a lot. Native has always been $12. Plus you get 10% off with my code, so that's good. But I remember paying like $30. It's that deodorant that everybody talks about from Sephora. Is it like vanilla or something? I'll put a picture of it on the screen if I can remember. It didn't work for me, and I think I paid like 20 or 30 bucks for it. So I love that Native is affordable. I just love Native. It works for me. Now the thing is, natural deodorants, a lot of natural deodorants, specifically Native, because they're aluminum free, full disclosure, you will still sweat. That's what stops you from sweating in those other deodorants, the aluminum. But I don't mind sweating because I'm not putting those harmful chemicals in my body. So you still sweat, but it is a deodorant, so it neutralizes the smell. Um, and they have like a little card here explaining. It says, apply after your scrubby clean. So you wanna apply after your clean, after your showers when I put it on. Less is more, two to three swipes under each arm. Rub a dub dub, this is so cute. So you rub it into the skin and wear it daily. And because it is aluminum free, you can put it on as many times as you want. Here's the thing, because I told you guys, TMI, I'm very active, I'm very warm, my body temperature, like right now I'm having like a hot flash. Um, I sweat a lot. And if I don't wear this deodorant, I stink a lot. It's horrible. So I, I will carry this. I actually do carry it in my purse and reapply because for my body temperature, I feel like I need to reapply this. I'd say I reapply two or three times a day. Um, I apply it once in the morning. I apply it like lunchtime and then I usually have to work out at night. I hate working out at night, but that's just how my schedule works. Um, before I go to the gym, I reapply it. But I feel like I'm abnormal. You're probably not like me. You probably don't have a really high body temperature. You probably don't stink as much as I do. <laughs> so you probably don't need to reapply it that often, but I have to reapply it two to three times a day. So that's the other thing. So 
Native came out, they sent me the box of their seasonal scents. So every season, I think they're coming out with new scents, which is really cool. Um, I've put everybody onto this deodorant. I sent it to my mom. My mom uses it when she runs out. She's like, do you have any more Native? My boyfriend uses it, he loves it. So the summer scents right now are strawberry and rhubarb, and this is the one my boyfriend's been using. That smells so good. It smells sweet like strawberry. This is lime and coconut. Mm, that smells exactly like lime and coconut. I know that a lot of their, um, what's their most popular scent? I think it's like a coconut and vanilla something. I really like that one too. And this one is hibiscus and mint. Ooh, that smells nice. When I run out of my next one, I'm gonna use this. So those are the three seasonal summer scents. I will leave a link to it down below. You can use the code, get 10% off. If any of you have tried Native, let me know if you like it. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend trying it. Do your research, go watch my other videos, and I talk a lot about why you wanna to try to switch to natural. Um, at first, when I first switched to natural, my process was I stopped using the other stuff like cold turkey and went to this and I still kind of stunk for a little bit, TMI, but it's true. Like for a week, even though I was using this, I feel like it took my body a little time to get used to it. But then after I would say like four or five days, it was working great, I didn't smell anymore. I feel like honestly, I don't sweat as much. I know that's not true, I sweat a lot, let's get real. Especially when I work out, I get really sweaty, but it does not smell. Like, and you know what's interesting? Those other deodorants, like the Clinical Strength Secret that I used to use, I would still smell sometimes. And I was like, what the F? I almost cussed, I stopped myself. I'm using like the strongest crap you can get in a drugstore. It has all these chemicals in it and I still stink. Like I wouldn't sweat, so that was nice, but I would still like have to reapply two or three times a day. And so I started doing my research and like everyone was saying, you should really try natural deodorant. It's really not good for you. So that's when I started using Native a year later. I love it. All of these will be gone. I try to hide them because my boyfriend's like, do you have any more Native? He just asked me that. I had this pack of three on my table right here where I film. And he's like, can I use one of these? I just looked and it was gone. He loves it too. So. Link down below, use the code down below if you wanna get 10% off. Let's quickly do product reviews. I really only have one thing for you this, this video, friends. You guys know I love YSL Beauty. If you're new around here, I love YSL Beauty. I've reviewed many of their products over the years. I love their foundation. I love their Touche Clot line, um, the Radiant Touch. I love that. I love their lip products. I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's one of my favorite higher end brands. It's not higher end, it is high end. So traditional gold packaging. <laughs> Look, when I film it, I can't even, like I'm looking in the camera, like can they see how sparkly it is? So this is the, ugh, I'm gonna butcher this, the Rouge Pure, Pure Couture line. Um, and this is a satin finish, satin radiant finish. This is number 17 Rose Dahlia. And it has the YSL, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. It has YSL engraved on it. Oh my God, does it have a smell? It has a very, very light floral scent. Let's do a swatch. Ooh, it's very satiny. Oh, that's pretty. It's a light wash of like a mauve -y pink. It's a very light scent, which I really like. I don't like when lip products are too overly scented, but it's a very satiny kind of sheen finish. That's gonna feel nice on the lips. I don't wanna put it on now because I have on Right now I have on a drugstore lipstick. This is Red Velvet from Wet n Wild. This is bright. I really toned it down. Let me show you. You see that? That is some bright lipstick, but I love it. I hate their packaging. Like look at this nice, beautiful high-end packaging. This Wet n Wild lipstick, I love the shade range. I love their lipsticks. I think I have every shade. I did a video a long time ago um, doing like MAC lipstick dupes and a lot of them were from Wet n Wild. If you wanna see that, it's really old. I think it was like three years old. I'll leave a link to it down below if I can remember. You guys know I say I'll link all this crap down below. When I'm editing, it sometimes doesn't happen. Um, I love the formula. I love the long wear, long wear? The longevity of wear, whatever but I hate the packaging. I don't know if you guys can see, the lipstick goes everywhere. It's very cheap, the top, it's very flimsy, and it's not very well made, so when you put the top on, it punctures the lipstick, and it just goes everywhere. But I just love the formula so much. It's one of my, still one of my favorite drugstore lipstick formulas. I just hate the packaging. So YSL, you do your packaging right, you do your formula right. You're one of my faves. 
we'll leave a link to this down below so that's it for me friends hopefully you enjoyed check out native down below i'll leave the coupon code down below i'll leave a playlist to all the videos i've done on native down below and that's it if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button the notification bell so that you're notified of all new uploads i upload tuesday thursday saturday sunday i forgot to say that in the intro I've been better about saying that in the intro. I'm really good at sticking to my upload schedule, but the time is 3 p.m., so I upload Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, 3 p.m. Y'all, I have been struggling to make it on time. During the week, I'm good, because I usually schedule the videos the day before, but on the weekend, I usually edit them and post them that day, and I never like account for having a life. Like today, my boyfriend and I, we went um, hiking, and we flew the drone once we got to the top of the mountain. So instead of like editing this video, now I'm like scrambling to get Sunday's video up. So there is always usually a video Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, but I'm struggling to stick to the actual time. I'm gonna try to get better because I want you guys to know if you come here Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, 3 p.m., there's a new video because I know YouTube is not like sending out notifications. Can you guys let me know if you get notifications when I upload? Like, does it send you a notification to your phone? Are you getting it to your email? Or are you not getting notified at all? Do you just come to the channel and you see a new video? Let me know down below. Cause I really want to stick to the 3 PM time. So that way, even if you don't get a notification, you see the video. So that's it for me. Subscribe, notification bell, check out the videos on the screen if you haven't already and give this a thumbs up and I will see you soon.